the, uh, the practice now of doing mutational assessments in newly diagnosed metastatic colorectal cancer is critically important. So we have to know about the presence of RAS mutations because it informs whether or not you're going to use an epidermal growth factor receptor antibody. We originally had learned that KRAS, the most common mutation in uh, colorectal cancer, predicted resistance to EGFR antibody therapy. And so initially, we were just doing uh, the exon 2 mutations, or codons 12 and 13 of KRAS. But what we learned over the years was that there are other events, other mutations that can occur in KRAS, such as codon 61, 146, among others, so that, and we now know that those mutations can occur not just on exon 2, but exons 3 and 4. Moreover, we know that mutations in those other parts of the KRAS gene similarly predict resistance to EGFR antibodies. So at that point, there was an expansion of assessments to all KRAS mutations. Subsequent to that, we learned that NRAS, an alternative RAS signaling gene, also can have the same mutations, and those mutations similarly confer resistance to epidermal growth factor receptor antibodies. So the standard of care now needs to be to test for all RAS mutations, which actually identifies as many as 50% of patients. So that 50% of patients would not be candidates for epidermal growth factor receptor antibodies based on that molecular testing. Critically important that you do all RAS testing on all patients before considering giving an epidermal growth factor receptor antibody. About what percent of patients are metastatic C 